Hello there guys and welcome back to the ninth War of Alliance uh, War Season 39 and this time we are facing MIBR this is a Brazilian alliance and they are very strong however they have been docked before so anyway uh, at the at the start we were trying so hard because we we cannot lose anymore if we if we wanna get uh, one of the top spots for the podium so I had to do what I what I had to do uh, and on this first fight uh, I had to take down this Quicksilver I was a little bit worried because of his bait and since uh, Kingpin has does uh, the rages uh, it, it, it's gonna be having the entire fight a uh, fury that increases his damage uh, any, anyway I ended up um, taking him down but I lost like 20% HP uh, it was uh, most uh, of the damage by blocking only and the damage from the incinerates anyway we did the solo which was uh, the the main the main thing to do and now on the second fight i didn't have that many fights on this uh, account either uh, this war but i had some important ones um, i had to take down this scorpion i had to share the pad with another uh, friend um, on the first note so on the second node I had to take down this scorpion so the the plan here was just to build my sp1 throw my sp uh, throw it and that way I was going to apply degen on him reduce his ability accuracy so um, it was a really really easy fight for uh, Kimpin because I have class advantage uh, he's not immune to anything from Kimpin and yeah, I just have to be worried about his bait, uh, and as long as I'm aware, uh, it's it's not gonna be a problem. So that scorpion was really easy, and this time I had to take down this king root, and I was mainly assigned uh, with the hood, but I was like, okay, I think Kimpin can do it. And why did I end up using Kimpin? That's why because. Um, I didn't wanna lose any hexes charge uh, with hood because I had to take down null boss, so it was a bit risky to use hood, especially because of the um, falter. So uh, with Kimpin, I can take down the falter. You know, like I can purify it, uh, convert it into fury, uh, well, into rage to make the to get the overpower uh, uh, buff, so I can increase my damage and yeah I, I, I'm increasing the speed of this fight because I got a little bit worried because look at that it's been more than a minute on the fight and I had only taken like 30% damage on him and since I was uh, applying power lock on him degen on him he was actually uh, sometimes healing more than was than he was degen uh, well than he was losing the, the HP right so yeah i was a little bit worried uh, however when i saw that he had a uh, 50 percent hp only and it's been two minutes i was like okay i can do it uh, i just have to spam my sp1 no matter what even though if i get the 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 debuff that he applies the unsteady debuff from the global defensive node uh, i was like okay just hit him use sp1 build as much as you can even though he purifies uh, the dj and the power lock with his furies it doesn't matter we just have to attack him and not no stop you know like as long as i do that i'm gonna be able to do the solo uh, <laughs> i was uh, as i said a bit worried because it wasn't assigned to kimping mainly so i was like okay uh, let's make sure I don't make any mistake here because I didn't follow my own my, my own plan, you know. <laughs> anyway, we did a solo. It was a really easy fight, but it was a long one. Uh, anyway, uh, on the next note, we had to take down this Spider Supreme with Kimpin. So I was a bit worried. Uh, anyway, I did some duels so I could uh, get used to his heavy to attack him with a medium attack. That way he activates his face uh, ability and after the face uh, ability uh, 
turns off, I just can attack him without any issue. So I, 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 I had to be just aware when the face was going to refresh so I can like redo the strategy. So yeah, I also learned how to evade his special too because if you end up uh, blocking or not uh, evading his special too, you're gonna be getting a lot of damage back. So I was like, okay, let's focus up. Let's use Degen, uh, well, uh, SP1 on him. That way I apply the Degen in case I get hit. Uh, I had also invulnerability boost just in case I get hit. Um, because I didn't wanna die. At this point, we were uh, tied. It was 0-2-0. But we had more exploration, so I was like, okay, I don't want to be the first death of my bar group, uh, not of my entire alliance, neither. So yeah, uh, I evaded the SP2 again, it was a really good fight for me, it, it, it really helped me to do some duels be before I go into the fight, and it was a really, really, really good fight, and yeah, now we had to take down this boss, null boss again. Once again, I, I think this is the seventh or eighth null boss that we have got so far on the entire season. And yeah, um, well, this time let's do it again. Like, you know, I, I mean, I, I have died before. I died once uh, when I fought null. Uh, I was like, I, had, I I believe I had a brain fart when I did uh, the fight. I, I don't ex explain myself yet how i ended up losing that fight uh, and i wasn't drunk like <laughs> i don't even drink anymore like not that much so yeah i was like no way uh, every every single time i remember that i died uh, using the hood rank 4 against null i, I i'm like no way dude you are you <laughs> you suck uh, anyway, uh, the strategy is the same as usual, just do two hit combo, uh, not ending with a medium attack, that way he doesn't trigger his uh, special one, and yeah, uh, it's only repeat the process, once I get my sp2, use it so he can get either his sp2 or get some space between him and me, and yeah, look at that, I'm controlling the fight entirely i have like 32 hexes well bullets activate uh, on him at the, at the at the moment and yeah he's almost cornering me actually i think i got hit uh yeah i think here yeah i got hit by the medium attack uh, well by the heavy attack and i was like okay okay hey let's let's focus up i got hit as well again one more time but i was like okay let's just trigger the sp2 and yeah use my heavy attack to to activate the bullets you know so i was like okay boom oh, it was beautiful man beautiful i'm i'm loving even more now the hood he's he's a strong really really strong uh, one of the best champions uh, to control the fight uh, anyway uh, we did a solo we ended up winning this war as well guys so we had three deaths and all those three deaths were dc i mean disconnections yeah uh, actually two out of the three deaths uh, were from the same person uh, i believe he has a channel he's campbell uh, he's uh, from turkey i believe um, he actually uploads videos but i i believe he does in, in his own language uh, anyway yeah it was a really unlucky uh, by him but yeah he got disconnected twice like his game crashed and on the background uh, on the bg1 uh, they also had one disconnection like no way man we could have ended this war with a big o for the entire alliance but yeah uh, it's kabam you know anything can happen with this company like <laughs> look at look at, at today uh, with the update, uh, the books that are out uh, nowadays are really aw awful. Like Hercules, he's really booged right now. Like you, you cannot get uh, any precision or cru cruelty if not playing correctly. Like it has to be a 
a perfect intercept to make the, uh, it work. Uh, anyway, uh, it's Kabam. But yeah, we ended up winning and beating this alliance. So uh, we now have a chance for the top three. We are currently on the spot number four. And hopefully we are going to have a really good three last matches and end up on the podium. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, sub subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.